Okay, now let's take a look at the chemistry section. Now, the chemistry section is the second most important section in the IMAT because it is worth 12 questions, so 18 marks. Now, this does tie chemistry with the general knowledge section, but chemistry is more preparable for, so you should dedicate more time to chemistry. Now, what level of chemistry do you need to know? Well, basically, it's just high school level, and this is the list of topics that you could be assessed on. So it is quite a lot, and really, due to the nature of chemistry, you really need to dedicate a lot of time, because chemistry is one of those subjects that really involves a lot of different skills. You need to be able to recall a lot of theory, you need to be able to solve calculation type questions, and then you need certain skills which are just unique to chemistry. However, as far as the actual level of knowledge goes, you don't need anything beyond high school level. Nevertheless, even if you were good at chemistry in high school, don't underestimate this section, because this section will work very differently to how you're probably used to. For one, you don't have a periodic table. That means you need to memorize a lot of the periodic table. Now, you don't need to memorize all of it, and I'll do a separate video on how that works and what you need to memorize and all that. But trust me, there is a very big difference between the regular high school exam and the IMAT. On top of that, Chemistry involves some calculations, and you don't have a calculator, so you need to get good at basic mental maths. Now, they don't really assess you on maths itself in the chemistry section, so the maths is going to be quite basic, but nevertheless, you do need to get used to working with numbers. Alright, how do you actually best go about studying for chemistry? Well, first of all, there is a lot of content to learn, and a lot of skills you need to develop. And I'll cover pretty much all the topics in chemistry that you need, so I recommend looking at iMathBuddy, looking at those videos, and doing all the practice questions, because these will be iMath-style questions as well. Of course, use textbooks, that's always helpful, and any online resources to clear up topics that you don't fully understand. Now, there isn't as much content for chemistry as there is in biology. Nevertheless, it does take a lot of time, so you have to start early. And I don't recommend that you first study biology and then study chemistry or the other way around. No, study them simultaneously, because otherwise you will forget. And of course, you have to check the syllabus whenever you're studying chemistry. You don't want to learn things that aren't going to be accessible. And you have to use active recall. Like I said, chemistry does involve a lot of theory, and you can be asked about a lot of theory questions. So use Anki or an alternative. However, for chemistry, it is extremely important that you do practice questions, more so than, for instance, biology, because chemistry is skills-based, or at least to a large degree, it's skills-based. So you need to be able to practice in order to get good. So on IMAT Buddy, you will find plenty of questions that match the level of difficulty and the same style as actual IMAT questions. So that is a good place to start. You, of course, should do past IMAT papers. And the nice thing about chemistry in the IMAT is it's pretty much identical to chemistry in the BMAT. There might be some differences here and there, but really the style and difficulty of questions is pretty much the same. So definitely do the BMAT papers as well. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the chemistry section.